So it turns out that for the last couple of weeks, I have been making coffee and every time that I take a sip from the coffee, it tasted really soapy. And we thought that maybe it was the dishwasher, wasn't rinsing the cups right. Then we thought it was the coffee maker. And so we were just wondering why all of our cups of coffee tasted really soapy. And it turns out that one of my kids had put soap in the creamer. And so it was the creamer that was tasting really soapy. But that problem has been alleviated. We got us a cup of coffee and let's get right into it. Today we are going to be talking about how to set your smartphone up as a way to remote shutter your Sony cameras. And in doing this, you will be able to not only use it as a remote shutter, but as a second screen for both photos and videos. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna change to a top down view and we will get right into this sort of mini tutorial. All right, so these first two steps you can do in either one of these uh, orders. And so, but I actually kind of recommend that you do it in this order first. On a smartphone that you want to connect to the Sony camera, you want to go and download Image Edge Mobile. Uh, you can find it in the Google Play Store or you can find it in um, the Apple Store. One of those two stores should have it. Um, and so that's the first thing you wanna do is you wanna download Image Edge Mobile. All right, and so the second thing that you wanna do is you want to go into the settings of your Sony camera and you want to go to the third page and then you want to scroll over to the third page within that to where it says control my smartphone. And so once you go into the control my smartphone, you wanna make sure that control my smartphone is on. So once you toggle that to on, then you wanna go down to connection. And once you hit connection, it's gonna bring up this uh, QR code. And you can see that within the app, there is a feature that says connect with a new camera. And if you hit this feature here, then there is an option that asks you to scan QR code. Once you hit that scan QR code, it's going to bring up this little crosshair on the phone here. And once you do that, once it does that, then you just put the crosshair on the QR code on the Sony phone. Then you'll be prompted to connect to the smartphone. You just hit okay. It'll take a little bit of time. You'll see it kind of trying to find the Sony camera. So once it finds the camera, you're just gonna hit connect. And um, there's one more thing that you have to say okay to. And then once you are connected, you are viewing on your smartphone what you are seeing on your Sony phone. So this can be used as a second screen and as a remote shutter. And as you can see, it works pretty well. So here's my little desk plant that I have here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna snap a quick picture of it, all right? And so from the phone, you see that there are uh, several things that you can control. You can control the aperture, you can control the ISO, you can also control the shutter speed. You can also set a timer. So if you want it like a two second timer, um, you could set that. And so once you have all of your settings dialed in, you can go ahead and capture that photo in two, one. Another way that this has come in handy is this has a a share option in it. And so if you are, you know, making photos and you want to immediately share these photos, you could just share these photos to any of these apps, whether it is Instagram or Facebook or Lightroom, if you do a lot of mobile editing. And so that works out that way also. 
And so it's a really actually cool app to be able to use on the fly, especially if you are taking photos of yourself or if you are on a shoot and you want it to uh, quickly get a, a photo from your Sony camera onto your phone to be able to send to a client or whoever it is that you're shooting, it works out really well that way. So everyone knows that with Sony cameras, one of the limitations is that it doesn't have a flip screen. So if you are recording yourself and you are needing a way to um, kind of frame yourself up during a video, you can also use this app as sort of a second screen to be able to see exactly what it is that you have on frame. And so a lot of times, as you guys can see, I will actually have my smartphone on my desk while I'm filming videos to frame myself up, even though I do have a monitor on top of my camera that I can see. All right, so this has just been a quick tutorial on how to uh, set up your smartphone as a remote shutter for your Sony cameras. I'm sure that Canon and Nikon also have their own apps that do the same thing. So I don't know that this is something that is exclusive to Sony cameras, but the Image Edge, the Image Edge mobile app, Imaging Edge mobile app is exclusive to Sony cameras. Uh, secondly, I do want to say that images that you use, uh, that you make using the remote shutter on your smartphone will be saved on the smartphone as JPEGs. And so if you wanted to send those images to one of your clients really quickly, you will be sending them JPEGs. Secondly, there is also a option in the, in the, in the app that allows you to send up to, I think a hundred photos from uh, the saved photos on your Sony camera to the uh, memory on the, the app. And so there is a way to, uh, in your, so there is an option in the Sony camera to send uh, photos directly to that, to your smartphone. And you could just use the app on that. If you guys have questions on how to do that, just leave a comment down in the comment section and I will be uh, happy to uh, answer those questions. Also, if you guys wanna know how I set up that overhead rig for I think uh, less than seven dollars uh, also let me know in the comments uh, it was really easy and uh, I'm actually kind of proud of it um, yeah so that is going to be it I am a boy named Jamil uh, check me out on Instagram um, if you haven't already uh, yeah thank you guys for tuning in and I will catch you guys in the next video until then Peace. Wait. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Guess a big thumbs up. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. We'll see you in the next one. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Peace. Peace.